what's up everybody welcome to my channel in this video today i will be sharing to you step by step how you can apply for your j1 visa in a few simple steps so with that said let's head over to my laptop and get started so guys to get started you can go to this website here i'll leave the link in the description of this video or you can just google ds160 online non-immigrant visa application right so once you're there you want to select this link here that says consular electronic application center website i'll leave this link in the description below so you don't have to worry about it right so here you want to select your country i am from jamaica so i'm going to select jamaica kingston right you want to enter this code as shown as screen which is the m p m e and i'm going to select start an application agree to the terms and this number here you want to keep track of this number because in the event that let me say this right in the event that you are completing an application and you get signed out you will need this application id to resume your application right so you're going to need your security question as well so i'm going to say test and continue so you're going to specify your surname given names and your full name in native alphabet depending on which country you're from so far now i'm going to say does not apply so for the first name i'm going to say fernandez and for the given name i'm going to say miguel right ever use any other names i.e maiden religious or professional alias i'm going to say no do you have a telecode that represents your name select what best applies to you select your sex select what best applies to you and your marital status right select what best applies to you so here you're going to specify your date of birth i'm going to say the first january 2000 right guys these are just random numbers i'm just taking you through the process of applying for your visa i've done this several times right and i'm just sharing this knowledge with you so i'm going to say cities kingston state or province so you're going to select the state or parish which you were born if you don't know you could just select does not apply i'm going to say jamaica right and then i'm going to select next to personal information you also want to ensure that you save along the way right however i can't save at this point because the application will do kick you out sometimes so i'm going to select jamaica for my country of origin do you have held any other nationality than the one indicated above no are you a permanent resident of any other country no specify your national identification number right you should know that if you do not have a social security you can say does not apply and for us tax id number you can say does not apply as well and then select next guys these applications are really simple now all you have to do is just take your time fill it out and be truthful that's literally it so this is the important section this is where you want to select the right visa right this is where you select your visa type for j1 you're going to be an exchange visitor also known as j right and then you're going to specify which one so here you're going to select exchange visitor j1 have you made any specific plans to travel you can say no or whatever best applies to you right however let's say you're planning to travel in may this may not be accurate right and we're going to say may the 16th and we're going to say 2024 right length of stay in the u.s let's say a month we're going to say four months where you'll stay if you don't know this you can just put the address of the workplace that you will be working so i'm just going to fill in this information with some random data personal entity paying for your trip you can say self right and then select next so i missed the zip code right so i'm gonna specify five zeros which state you will be going and i'm gonna say alaska and then select next the travel companion are you traveling with other persons you can say no if you're a traveling group you could say yes right over no is fine it doesn't matter have you ever been to the u.s select what best applies to you have you ever been issued a US visa? Select what best applies. Have you ever been refused US visa? Select which best applies to you, right? Have you ever filed an immigrant petition on your behalf with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services? No, select what best applies to you. Here you're going to specify your home address, right? Specify the address where you live. So I'm just going to say Eliconia Way, Kingston 8, St. Andrew. For your postal code, if you don't know it, just specify five zeros and then select your region. Is your mailing address the same as your home address? Yes, right? 
here you're going to specify your phone number and for secondary and work i'm going to say does not apply if you want to provide this information that's fine have you ever used any other phone numbers in the last five years select what best applies to you now let's scroll down so you're going to specify your email address as well have you used any other email address in the last five years i'm going to say no do you have any social media presence select which best applies to you i'm going to say facebook and i'm going to say garcia right you can select the add other or remove right do you wish to provide information about your presence on any other website or application or applications you have used within the last five years to create or share content or photos select what best applies to you i'm going to say no then select next to go to your passport section so here we are going to select your passport type most likely it's going to be regular so i have a sample passport number here book number i really don't remember the book number it's not really important so you can say it does not apply however you can always google search whatever your book number is and then you fill it in here where was the passport travel document issued specify the city in which your passport was issued specify the state and select your region in my case it's jamaica date it was issued i'm going to say the first january 2020 for the expiry date i'm just going to say the first january 2030 right so ensure these information are accurate guys all of this is in your passport have you ever lost a passport or had one stolen i'm going to select no and then select next now point of contact you may be traveling for the first time and don't know anybody in the united states it's okay to put your employees contact here or the manager for the organization that you're going to work right so it's fine to put that here so i'm just gonna put in some random information relationship to you you could say employer right and then you're going to specify the address of that employer so again i'm just going to fill out this information with some random info so you'd specify your zip code your phone number and a email address so we are going to select next once you have completed all the information above also i missed the city so i need to specify a value for the city so anytime you miss anything and you try to go to the next page you will get a little arrow and it will be highlighted for you to fix that information now here you're going to need to provide your father's full name date of birth right and your mother's full name and date of birth if you do not know it has the option to say do not know so here i'm just gonna say hernandez i'm going to say john and for date of birth i'm going to just specify a random date is your father in the u.s I'm going to say no for the surnames of my mother I'm going to say Hernandez as well for given names I'm gonna say Juanita date of birth the first January 1990 right is your mother in the US no it's like what best applies to you do you have any immediate relatives not including parents in the United States I'm going to say no and then select next so I missed another question this one here so no and then select next to education work and training here you're going to select your primary occupation so if you're a student you just scroll down and select student from the drop down here you're going to specify your present school name let's say you're at utec you're going to say utec specify the street address specify the city for the state you could say kingston right not kingston it's st andrew right <laughs> for the zip code you could say five zeros or does not apply and then you specify a phone number for them then you scroll down specify your start date when did you start i'm going to say january 2020 right monthly income does not apply because you're a student right so here you could say studying a uh, bsc in it right whatever it is you're doing just put a brief description then i'm going to select next were you previously employed select what best applies to you have you attended any educational institution at a secondary level or above i do recommend that you say yes and specify like your high school name right so i'm gonna say aa here address aa specify your city your state and your country right for the zip code you could say five zeros as well as you could select does not apply by now you should get the gist of what's taking place 
specify your date of attendance zero guys don't mind my dates because i'm just making them up to say zero first january 2019 the reason why i can do this is because there's no validation being done right however make sure you specify your information accurate as possible do not make any mistakes right so let's select next so i miss course of study so for our course of study i'm just going to say c sec i believe that's what it's called now and then we're going to select next do you belong to a tribe or a clan i'm going to say no have you traveled to any other countries or regions within the last five years no select what best applies to you again have you belonged to, contributed to, or work for any professional, social, or charitable organizations? Select what best applies to you. And it will be the same for these questions. Just select what best applies to you. I'm going to select next. So again, these things will happen. I missed the language, so I'm going to select English here. And for have you ever served in the military, I'm going to select no, right? and then select next so these things will happen so those are the type of validation that is done to ensure that you fill out information that is required so these are some security questions i encourage you to take the time and read through them so for the security questions for most part the answer will be no given that you are in no run-ins with the law or anything like that right so i'm going to select no and select next no for these as well However, take your time to read through them because you may never know. So I'm going to select no for all and then select next. So it's going to be a series of them. It stops at part five, I believe, right? Yeah, it stops at part five and then we're going to go to next. Select next and select no. So I'm going to select next again. Additional point of contact. You have indicated that you'll be studying in some capacity while in the United States. List at least two contacts in your country of, of residence who can verify the information that you have provided on this application. Do not list immediate family members or relatives. So here you can specify like a lecturer who know that you are studying in some capacity in Jamaica or you can specify a friend, right? So, or a JP who knows that you are studying. So you can specify their names here. So I'm just going to fill out these with some random information so i can proceed to the next page so again guys make sure you specify correct information okay so i'm going to add some random name for the next one so i'm not name but random information do not apply do not apply do not apply do not apply let's select next to service so by now you may have gotten your ds 2019 i believe that's the name of the farm I believe that is the one that should contain your service ID. You know the form, so you can look through the forms and you'll find those information, right? So I'm just going to put in some random information here. But again, ensure you're specifying the correct thing. And for the program number, I'm putting in some random information as well. Do you intend to study in the US? No, because we're just going to work and explore the United States. So here, select next to photo. So it picks up that my service number is of the incorrect length. Say it's one, two, three, four, it's up to nine. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let's select next to photo. So here you'll need to upload a digital photo of yourself. You can take a nice photo of yourself with your smartphone. You don't need to go and take a professional passport size photo. You can just use your smartphone and upload it here so you can use various online tools to crop your picture to the correct format so once you select upload here is right here select next to upload so it's saying image exceed maximum files so i need to get a smaller picture this one is too large so let's try this guy i think that one is large as well all right this one looks a little bit smaller let's save that image and guys these are the little troubleshooting that you have to go through when you're actually so it's giving me some warning about my photo right so i'm going to select continue without photo so basically they're saying the picture that i submitted did not meet their standards right so you can continue or choose to upload a different photo so i'm going to select review so basically your picture will be shown here review all the information and ensure it's accurate right so it's going to allow you to go to each section for you to review it so once you are satisfied with all the information you can sign and submit right here i'm going to select this so you're going to enter your passport number to sign right 
and enter the code shown on screen and then sign and submit application. You have successfully signed and submitted your application. You cannot make any changes to your application at this point. Please click next to confirmation, right? So this is your confirmation page. You are going to need to take this to the interview as well as your passport and passport size photos. You can email this to yourself as well as you can select print confirmation and then you can print it immediately if you do have a printer or you select the drop down, right? And select save as PDF and save it on your laptop, right? because this sheet is very important. You're going to need this for your interview. Now the next step is to set your appointment. I've done a video on how you can schedule your appointment. It doesn't matter which country you're from, the process is the same, right? The only difference is that the embassy location that you need to schedule your appointment for will be different. So you can watch that video as well. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and good luck with your application.